Good morning. Another beautiful morning in Michigan. Uh, we got some snow last night, like one of the last little doses, and it's all melting uh, as I'm walking along the trail here. But uh, welcome to Motivation Monday. I now have my themes that I'm going to start rolling out. I think yesterday was the first one with Self Reflection Sunday. But Motivation Monday was one that I struggled to not have as one of my themes. And uh, actually had it on there, changed it to something else, changed it to something else, and then was thinking about it. And let me tell you why. So motivation to me in the past, growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, there was a lot of what you would call motivational speakers. And I think the general consensus of the fixed mindset public out there of which I felt like I was completely surrounded by because I was probably teetering in that direction as well. But they used to constantly make fun of motivational speakers. I mean, all we have to do is think back to Saturday Night Live with Chris Farley, who was the motivational speaker who was living in a van down by the river. Well, I proudly have my van and I happily camp by a river anytime. But it was always funny to me because motivation always seemed to be from a lot of the messages back then about affirmations and about you can do it you're good enough you know you it, it, there's a, people who have come from more difficult circumstances and they've been able to accomplish great things and so typically it was listening to other people's stories doing affirmations whatever but to me i always felt like it was kind of hollow just like the opinions of those fixed mindset people out there in the world who were raining all over my parade trying as I was seeking a way to try to find my way in the world but motivation just seemed hollow and so I've done a lot of studying listening to a lot of books on tape and reading and all that stuff and, and what I have learned about motivation is it's about having an aspiration right you can't you're not going to be motivated unless you aspire to accomplish something or for something or whatever but that what that's not different than the hollow message of motivation that I learned kind of coming up through my years it was the same thing right set a goal that's your aspiration and then run as fast as you can to accomplish that goal and then you'll be happy then regardless of the pain and misery that you have to go through to be able to do it but having that goal out there and staying focused and running toward it and ignoring everything else in the process that was happening to you and everyone around you. But that was it. So you had the motivation to do that because you were kind of a, just like the superficial hollow message of, of motivation that I was hearing, uh, aspirations and achieving goals seem to be just like superficial check the box. There are goals accomplished. Let's move on to the next one. So I never really looked at it as, as anything that was substantial, right? Like set a goal, go get it. You're either an achiever or you're not an achiever. But what I'm starting to realize, especially now that I feel as though, or now that I absolutely have discovered my purpose and I know that my purpose is to live life and intentionally create memorable experiences with the people around me, and share those with others because maybe I'll inspire them to do the same thing or something similar or something that they've always wanted to do but just haven't been able to do that. But what I've found is when you actually have found your purpose and you're waking up every morning and you're living on purpose instead of allowing circumstances and random thoughts to dictate <laughs> the actions you take during your day, it's not as much of a search for motivation anymore. And it's actually doesn't necessarily feel like you're working that hard. And it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing really anything because you've defined and made a commitment to live based on your purpose. And therefore the stuff you do is fulfilling. And I know that may seem idealistic, but that's exactly what I found to be true in my own experience. And it may be different for others. But give it a shot. Don't worry about the motivational speakers. 
And just remember this, living in a van down by the river is pretty freaking beautiful. I come down here and hike next to the river every single day because of the magic. And I could be sleeping right next to that river in my van, listening to that river flow by every night, if my family wanted to. But anyway, that's it. That's it for Motivation Monday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And tomorrow, today is the launch of the community. And tomorrow it's turned public. So be ready for Gen X Reboot. Talk to you later. Bye.